Welcome to Ensenada, Mexico. We are on our last day of our Mexican Riviera cruise and this stop is Ensenada. Come explore this beautiful area with us as we share the highlights and tour around. Ensenada was our final stop on our itinerary and because of the distance, we actually had a sea day between Mazatlan and Ensenada. The city is located on the coast of Mexico on the Baja California Peninsula and has a beautiful harbor and waterfront area, a colorful downtown, and some historical attractions as well. We started our day by enjoying the scenery as we cruised into port and docked. And then we headed out for our tour of Ensenada. We got off the ship, found our tour guide, boarded a bus, and made it to our first stop, the Riviera del Pacifico. The Riviera del Pacifico is a beautiful white building with Spanish-inspired architecture and gardens. It has been one of the most popular attractions in Ensenada for around 100 years, still attracting tourists today. Bar Andaluz on the property is said to be the birthplace of the margarita. This bar is still functioning today and is a popular spot for tourists and locals alike to grab a drink, learn more about the history of the property, and enjoy the beautiful courtyard. And I may not be a margarita connoisseur, but I can confirm the margaritas were pretty tasty. The Riviera del Pacifico was opened in 1930 as the Playa Ensenada Hotel and Casino. It attracted many of Hollywood's elite celebrities, especially during U.S. Prohibition times. But after Prohibition ended, the hotel wasn't as popular and eventually closed its doors in the 1960s. And then after being closed, the Mexican government refurbished the property and opened it up as a cultural center preserving a lot of the original art, architecture, and decor. We enjoyed the visit and the free time to tour around this beautiful property. In front of the Riviera del Pacifico is a little market area. Here there were numerous vendors set up selling different souvenirs, jewelry, and clothing. So, like basically every tour you're taken on, there were plenty of opportunities to get some trinkets to take home if you enjoy shopping. And we just happened to be in Ensenada to see the Baja 1000 in person. This is an annual Mexican off-road race and is one of the most prestigious off-road races in the world. We are in Ensenada, Mexico, and we are on our tour from the Norwegian Bliss, touring the city, and we just happened upon the Baja 1000, which is a huge race here. It attracts racers from across the world, and as you can see behind me, they're interviewing people as they cross the finish line. It is such a vibe and a great time to be in the city. The first race was held in the 1960s and is the final round of a four-race annual series, including the San Felipe 250, the Baja 400, and the Baja 500. It attracts racers from around the world and has different classes of vehicles competing at the same time on the same track. The energy in the city was high for this exciting event, and throughout the downtown area, you could see visitors who were there specifically for the race. Plus, there was even more shopping to get branded event merchandise and Ensenada souvenirs. Our next stop on the tour was downtown Ensenada. The downtown area of Ensenada is a popular area for dining, checking out tourist attractions, and of course, even more shopping. If you're hungry, there are plenty of restaurants, fast food options, and bars to visit. The downtown strip is a very colorful and vibrant area, and like I said, there was a lot of activity and even some street performances happening because of the Baja 1000.
While you're in the area, you can check out the Regional Historic Museum. Unfortunately, we didn't have enough time on this visit, but it's a free attraction, so add it to your list. And there is never any shortage of shopping, but in this area, we found a side street that had a more market-like vibe, and it kind of felt like a flea market. Lots more colorful trinkets and souvenirs. I did some browsing, but I didn't buy anything. Another attraction you need to check out in Ensenada is the Plaza Civica de la Patria. This is the civic square and waterfront area where you'll find the Malacan, fountains, monuments, statues, and other art installations. It was a popular area while we were there with what looked like both tourists and locals. We enjoyed walking around and this would be a great spot to grab a quick snack if you're hungry because there were various food vendors along the perimeter of the square. And again, even more shopping. We are on our next stop on this tour and it is Bodego de Santo Tomas, which is the oldest winery in operation in Mexico and definitely in Ensenada. It started in 1888, so there are about 130 years of wine production and we're going to do a tasting. Bodegas de Santo Tomas has been in production for 130 years. And in the heart of Ensenada, you will find the Cava Miramar, which is the old winery. The actual winery is located in the Santo Tomas Valley. Cava Miramar is a wine tasting room and shop open to the public for wine tastings, olive oil tastings, and they even have chocolate. This winery is full of charm with historic wine production machines outside of the warehouse. The main building is covered with ivy and there are lovely seating areas out front. Inside the tasting room, it was rather dark, but there are some historic displays and decor around, and a wall of wine from floor to ceiling. We had three wine samples on this tour, and then we were able to sample some of their olive oils with bread. I enjoyed the wine here, but I didn't enjoy how crowded it was being on a ship excursion. So, my advice if you want to visit this winery is to avoid any day that a ship is in port because it would have been much more enjoyable to have a relaxing winery experience. This one is Merlot and it's my favorite. After the winery, we were taken back to the cruise port, and you need photo ID to get back into this area along with your cruise ship card. We did one final face scan to get back on board, and then we waited for the rest of the cruisers to get on the ship before we departed. If you've never watched a cruise ship pack up their dock setup, it's quite the experience, and they are super quick at packing everything up and loading it back onto the ship. I'm also not gonna lie, we always sit somewhere we can see the last minute runners hustling to get back on board. Luckily, we've never witnessed anyone missing the ship, but we do like to cheer people on as they're running down the dock. Overall, I really enjoyed exploring Ensenada, but I think I would have preferred to go on our own. Everything we wanted to see was relatively close to port, so if I'm ever in the area again, I would pass on an organized tour and either walk or take a taxi to the areas I wanted to see. And if you want to check out any of my other cruise videos, they're all linked in the description below. I hope this video can be helpful for you if you're planning your own trip to Ensenada or if you're taking a Mexican Riviera cruise. And as always, if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more travel videos coming soon.